In Matthew 5, 11, Jesus says that God will bless you when people insult you, mistreat you, and tell all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. As we close out 2023, this prophecy has never been truer for me. Sometimes, I don't know if I'm joking or being serious when I ask my family to put on my headstone all the things I've been called since my conversion, not only by my enemies, but by many in our like-minded Christian community. From being divisive to a reviler, morally corrupt, unloving, fornicator, quenching the spirit of other Christians, to being a liar, a false teacher, preacher, an abuser, causing harm to other Christians, and, well, just an unrepentant sinner. Anyway, I might need a bigger headstone. But then, I'm reminded how blessed I should feel about all this. In Isaiah 51, 7, God says, Listen to me, you people who know righteousness, you people who have my teachings in your hearts. Do not be afraid of being insulted by people. Do not be discouraged by their ridicule. By the way, do not be afraid is the most frequent commandment of God to us. In Acts 5.41, it says the apostles left the Sanhedrin council and were happy because God had considered them worthy to suffer for the sake of Jesus. And Hebrews 11 reminds us of so many faithful people of old who were tortured, mocked, flogged, imprisoned, stoned, cut in two, put to death by the sword, living in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, oppressed, mistreated, nomads who hid in caves and holes in the ground, people of whom this world was not worthy to have. For anybody who's on the receiving end of similar treatments, or worse, for anybody relying purely on the courage of their convictions, just know you are one of those chosen few, greatly blessed. I'll continue to say a little prayer for you and hope you do the same for me, my family, but most of all, our ministry here at Restoration Fellowship. May God continue to bless and strengthen you in the new year and until we meet again, what is past is prologue. My name is Donnie, and I am your host and moderator for this exciting debate on Christmas. I am thrilled to have CJ Cox and Carlos Xavier. Good evening. I'm Tracy with KOGMissions.com, and welcome to tonight's debate review with Carlos Xavier of Focus on the Kingdom. They welcome gentlemen. Thank you for being here. They are going to uh, be debating this topic right here. These are some review questions from some of my lessons during the year. So today is October 15, 2023. Another war has broken out in the Middle East. I have a very special guest here. Brother Carlos, welcome to Unitarian Anabaptist. Hi, Tom. Thank you for inviting <laughs> me. I'm Bob Schutz, and I have been a Christian since, I guess it's about 1975, so I'm slipping up on 50 years. Hi, my name is Wendy Johnston, and Carlos was gracious to let me do a testimony of why I believe in the coming kingdom of God. What is the kingdom? We need to understand that. We need to understand the millennium, and then we need to do something about it. Why do you think this is important? Does it really matter? Well, it was important to Jesus, obviously, the first words out of his mouth. Okay, guess what is coming down the road? Guess who's coming down the road? That, we know, is going to be our wonderful Lord and Savior. Uh, now, there is a, a particular a law, I suppose, of uh, exegesis and understanding, or a law of interpreting the Bible. It's referred to as the law of first mention. Thank you. How are you, my friend? Thank you for taking the time to do this. And so these people voluntarily, there's no mention of, of tithing, but they voluntarily, out of the goodness of their hearts, they give very generously 
What I wanted to talk about today is what I call the basic argument for diophysitism, the doctrine that Jesus Christ is a single person in two natures. Ah, uh, millennialism basically um, is equivalent to saying the kingdom is now. The two go hand in hand. In April, we published in the Focus magazine an article by Terry Moore entitled The Truth About Revival is that revival should lead to truth. The art of Bible study is to put all of the information together and immediately then in Isaiah 65, which speaks about a new heaven and new earth, you have a period there where if people die when they're 100 years old, they would be considered just a youngster. 